So what we are going to talk about is the egg freezing procedure itself. The needle goes into the ovary and then the eggs are extracted. The eggs are then frozen and then they will be thawed at another point in time when um, the lady wants to utilize these mm. eggs. So um, you are asking about this procedure because you have friends who have issues? Or? Let's just say I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see. Yes. So um, aside from all this, um, the main thing is um, with IVF, um, couples undergo a lot of mental stress because they are worried about the success of the uh, procedure, uh, the outcomes. Whereas for you who is who are just freezing the eggs, generally you will not have so much um, anxiety and stress along with this uh, procedure mm -hmm. so that's that is a major load of in fact you may feel less stress because you feel like you are storing these eggs and um, they're going to help you in future, future. yes mm. um, the only thing is it is not guaranteed that these eggs are going to give you a baby in future mm. okay so um, what it does give you is um, the choice to do it now so that in future if you do do IVF, mm -hmm. what happens is you have these eggs available to make the IVF treatment at that point of time more effective mm. um, uh, with higher success rates. Okay, um, it, it doesn't guarantee success, <laughs> that's one, and two, it doesn't guarantee that you need to come back and use them. Mm. Yeah, you know, you may get pregnant naturally, in future you may decide you don't want to have kids, you may not want to use these eggs anymore. It, there's many many thousand reasons why you may not come back to use these eggs so um, it's just that having it gives you an option mm. if you do indeed need the treatment earlier in itself the egg freezing is not a treatment procedure of course yes yeah so actually for the egg freezing how long can i freeze my eggs for can i come back 10 years later mm. oh. yes so technically you can come back 10 years later <laughs> that's how long we can freeze it for you can even freeze it for more than that sometimes mm. um, with special approval but um, the idea is that uh, if you are freezing it now um, I mean we don't advise ladies to get pregnant at too old um, an age as well mm. so generally we would expect most ladies to come back within 10 years to use it so is there any way I can maybe make this process more um, more viable for myself like is that maybe some supplements to take or maybe some lifestyle changes i need to do to make sure that this is going to be really as effective as i can get it yes so um what i was saying about the egg count is something that can be measured mm. so uh, nothing really improves the egg count per se okay because <laughs> about what we cannot measure is egg quality Okay, and so there are ways to try and optimize equality. Mm. Okay, so first of all, at your age, we expect equality to be very good, <laughs> which is the reason why egg freezing is uh, helpful at, uh, when we try to take um, eggs at a younger age. Mm. Yeah, so um, your age is really very, very helpful. So, second of all, uh, other things that can help to improve or optimize equality include vitamin supplements, mm. okay, so um, such as vitamin D as well as other antioxidant vitamins. Um, one of the main ones that we usually use is CoQ10 uh, enzyme. Mm, actually okay. that's for the heart right? Yes right if you have heard of it I'm sure it's all the rage now everywhere but uh, made it for egg quality it has um, the most evidence in the literature. Mm. Yes. So uh, you could take um, this CoQ10 enzyme antioxidant supplementation for a while before you come in for your egg procedure. Mm. So generally a couple of months to three months beforehand. It sounds really good actually. So, of course, we have to come to this part of the discussion where we talk about like the cost. So, is this going to be really expensive for me if I want to go ahead and do something like this? From estimates, um, it should cost about $10,000 to $12,000. And then, of course, there will be an annual storage fee incurred for the eggs for as long as you continue to store the eggs. Ah, okay. So subsequently, after that, when you want to utilize the eggs mm. uh, by you know fertilizing it with your partner's sperm and then uh, doing the embryo transfers, then of course that is uh, going to be additional costs again. So actually, that's not a small sum, but I'm sure that this actually gives a lot of women that feeling of empowerment that they're able to choose to put their career first and then um, they don't have to sacrifice like between choosing a to, to build a family versus choosing to build their career. 
Yes, that's very right. So that's why um, I'm very supportive of this uh, scheme to bring in um, this egg freezing procedure to Singapore. I mean, a lot of overseas uh, nations are already doing it and it's really high time that um, we are uh, starting to do this because it does give our local women a choice. Yes. Um, the only thing is, um, um, as I mentioned before, to it's very important that it um, the lady doesn't have a false sense of um, security about this. Um, it essentially is not a fail-safe procedure, um, but it does. Because anyway, fertility is not fail safe. Whether mm. you're trying now to get a baby or trying five years down the road to get a baby, but what is a fact is that you're not going to get younger. You're mm. only going to get older. So that's the reason why, um, yes, this choice, um, yeah, may be well worth the cost. So thank you so much, Dr. Janice. I think this has been a really informative session, and it's really given me a lot to think about. So I think I'll just go home and sit on it. <laughs> It's been nice to talk to you. Thank you. Maybe you don't say husband. Because if you're uh, no. husband, you can always store embryos. You don't need to store Oh. Mm. Yeah. But uh, technically, you can store it <laughs> if you're not sure about the husband. <laughs>